Good morning, folks. We've got an overview of solar activity and the effects of the solar storms of the last several days, and there's a new Starforge simulation out as well. Starting with our star, it was a much calmer day. First day in about a week, there wasn't a whisper of plasma erupting at Earth. We've got more sparse CMEs heading our way from the last two days, but this geomagnetic impact event is waning as the flares do. We took one of the sparse CME impacts yesterday and it did reignite the geomagnetic storm conditions briefly, but only at low levels. As we run through just a sample of the electrical and system issues that occurred during the last couple days, like the malfunction in the cosmonaut suit during the initial CME impact, know that it appears there was a 5 to 10x uptick in electrical issues, like electrical fires and explosions, system outages like Netflix had, etc. This is what we see all the time during geomagnetic storms, and it was the biggest uptick in geomagnetic activity in months, and since the early part of the year we have been pointing to mid-August as the next uptick. As these active regions traverse the sun and come back around in two weeks, we'll have another good chance for more activity, but just know that this model for predicting the sun's outbursts really works. Folks, the latest star forge appears to be helping with one of the great mysteries of astronomy why the distribution of stars is about one supermassive star to 10 sun-like stars and 30 dwarf stars, and why that ratio appears relatively universal. Their answer is that stellar ignition regulates its environment, capturing and moving the mass of stellar nurseries where what begins as a gas and dust cloud or supernova explosion ends up looking fairly similar no matter where we look in the universe, one of a million reasons to think that there's a lot more homogeneity to our cosmos than just the stellar populations and mass functions. Definitely one of the best eye candy models out there right now. As I mentioned yesterday, for those in the Colorado area, we are having a meetup next Friday, August 26th. If you're in the area, we will have several of the Observer Ranch trailers out there, and we'll be discussing the ongoing disaster scenario. Link to the event is below in today's link list. We greatly appreciate your support. We've got shots of our star to close. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.